Matt Banahan, pretty agonising loss at Saracen on the weekend. Can you talk us through the match? Yeah, um, boys, uh, we, uh, we did exactly what we wanted at the start of the game. Um, obviously, the intensity that we showed in defence and attack uh, put us in a, a great position, uh, being 13-0 up at half-time. Um, we knew they would come out fighting uh, <laughs> with, a, with a, a massive effort in the second half. Um, fortunately enough, or unfortunately enough, we uh, sort of a few penalties sort of let them out of their, their half. They had a, a strong win behind their backs um, and they got themselves back into the game. Um, and you know that Saracens are one of the top teams in in the UK, the Premiership, if not Europe, um, which the last four games leading up to that game, they scored four tries or more in each of the games. Um, and we obviously kept them to one, so it showed we defended very well. Um, but unfortunately, we, we, we sort of, they slipped in through the net with a few, a, few, a try and uh, a few late penalties to, to sneak it away from us. But at the same point, last year we went there and we got no points, uh, like Mike said, and we've, we've walked away with one point, which is obviously one more point than we got, but um, it's probably three more points less than what we, we wanted to walk away with. So what was the general feeling in the changing rooms afterwards? Obviously it's got, uh, going losing, but um, we're taking, we're still, we played Toulon twice, played Leinster, and now Saracen's some of the top teams in Europe, and we're running them close and if you can run the top teams close and be a score behind either side um, there's something positive in those games we just need to make sure that when we're performing against other teams that we still have that intensity and the desire and attack and defense to to show what we've done and hopefully get the result and the the, the correct result which we deserve uh, you had a bit of banter with jack burger after the match what was that about yeah it was good fun he, he told me that uh shout brick said i hit like a girl um, but that's why we play the sport uh, at the same time, it's 80 minutes of ferocious aggression and um, pain, but as soon as you walk off the pitch, you've got to be able to sometimes laugh at yourself if you make a mistake or enjoy something if somebody's done something really well, if it's in your team or the other team. We've got Gloucester this weekend. This unbelievably will be your 15th derby game against them. Yeah, it's a, like I said, you keep tabbing them along and keep going on. There, it's just, These are special occasions, especially these Gloucester games, um, when it's Friday night under the lights and I look forward to them thoroughly. Um, especially when when you know you're selected, uh, can you get a different sort of sense from the crowd when there's a when it's a derby game? Uh, you definitely do, um, especially when Bath has start changing these games to Friday nights. Um, you say that, that all the lights are off in town and all the, like the focus of the city is a, is on the wreck, um, and you know that everybody's buzzing for it. And vice versa, when you go to uh, King's Own, um, you know that their crowd they don't want us to go in there getting a result. Um, and it's, it's a great atmosphere when you go on a go and you just want to go there and get a, a result and sometimes if you get the result you just want to leave as quick as you can out of King's Home um, and if you get the result of the wreck you just want to bask in it and enjoy it. And for the few players we've got in the team who haven't experienced the derby, do you have to prepare them for that or just let them go and experience it? I, th I think you've just got to experience it. You've, you, everybody knows the, the sort of the talk, everybody's played in derby games themselves if it's in Wales and Scotland or wherever they're from. Um, you've just got to embrace it. You're still trying to do the best of your ability and the skill level that you want to execute. Um, and hopefully the boys can, can put, it to the, um, put it down and lay the mark down on Friday. Oh, your mate Laurie Cantor, he's a season ticket holder, also yep. a professional golfer. How is he getting on this season? He's done really well so far. He's, uh, I think he's only come up to a one, one or two games. Uh, he's fortunate enough to qualify for the European Tour through um, the Q School. Um, and the five events he's uh, sort of uh, participated in, he's made the cut in all five. So he's a, he's a good start of the year for him and uh, hopefully he can maintain his form and carry it on throughout the whole year. And he's happy for you to caddy him every once in a while, is he? I'm going to try and caddy if I can in the off-season. I don't know if his caddy will enjoy that, but um, I'll, uh, I'll try and get on tour. If not, I'll just follow him around and uh, irritate him like he does for me on the pitch.